Today on AFOL TV, we're showing you how to use BrickLink Studio, and it starts right now. All right, guys, so as mentioned in the opening, today we're going to show you how to use BrickLink's Studio software or stud.io to design and build your own custom Lego creations. We're going to go ahead and build our outdoor grill, which we already did a tutorial for. So if you want to watch that, go ahead and click the link up above. It'll give you a step-by-step -step build tutorial with actual pieces. But for this one, we're going to do the digital version using the software. Before we begin, if it's your first time here, please consider liking and subscribing. We really appreciate everybody's support. And also before we begin, we're going to need you to go ahead and download the software. So head over to Google and follow these steps. Search for BrickLink Studio, which is the easiest way to get to their website. It should be the first search result that pops up. Go ahead and click the link. And what will load is their homepage for the software itself. You'll see the download button right there with the requirements for your system. This is July 2020, so it may have changed by the time you're viewing this. Go ahead and download and click install. All right, once downloaded, go ahead and open the software. And once you have it up, you will see this window. Um, this pretty much starts at every opening of the software. And you'll either want to click new, or you can look at your past projects, which will show up here once you've made some. Now, in order to move the window around, it's best just to use two fingers on a touchpad. I don't use a mouse. Over here, you have your swatches in different colors for bricks. And I always check this box to make sure that what I'm using is actually available. Down here is the check issues pane. So if you pull out bricks that aren't available in a certain color, the software will warn you over here on the right. But if you grab ones that are okay, it won't pop up on the right. So you wanna make sure the issues are always being checked and you can do that by clicking this button. Over to the left, you have your panel with all of your different brick categories. And as you can see, it's a pretty extensive list. So if you wanna favorite the ones you use the most often, like I have, just click the little star and it'll move it up to the top. Down here, you have your bricks and you can change the view so you can see more or less. And you can also spin the bricks to get a better view before you actually place it in the build. You have another access to colors. Right here is how you turn on and off bricks with designs and patterns. Up top, we have the selection tool where you can select the default by color, by type, by type in color, um, or by connected. And next to it is the hinge tool, which we'll get to later, followed by the clone tool, which is very important. I'll show you how to use that. Um, the hide and the connect buttons, I don't use a lot. Anything through here, I do check collision, uh, but for the most part, you wanna focus on having snap turned on and your grid turned on. But the rest you won't use as much. Also, a lot of the tools have keyboard shortcuts like V for select. So let's get started. Let's go into the plate category. We'll grab a three by three and this will get us started on the build. As you can see, I'm just placing with the space bar and then I click delete to actually get rid of that selection. I can spin it with both fingers and select all and change the color up top on the right. You can move the canvas by pressing space bar and clicking with your mouse. And we'll grab some more pieces here to keep going. You can actually turn pieces by just using the little arrow keys on your keyboard. And then you can place it again with the space bar or just click. Now using the selection tool, I'm gonna to highlight everything and change the color to dark gray. So I'm gonna keep running through this build and I'll call out specific maneuvers as I go. But for the most part, just follow along with what I'm doing and it should be pretty self-explanatory. That if BrickLink has prices available, they'll actually pull it in for each piece down below when it's selected. They're not always accurate, but it does give you a pretty good idea of what it's going for at market rate. Yeah. 
Using command or control, depending on what type of computer you have, you can highlight multiple bricks to change colors. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to use the clone tool, which you can do by pressing C on your keyboard for the shortcut, or come on up here and collect the clone tool by clicking this button. Just click a piece that you wanna clone and it'll pop up. And then it has the same functionality as the select button and you can delete to unselect. Next, I'll show you how to do transparent colors. So when you go up to the swatches or the color for the bricks up top in the upper right, there's gonna be different sections. And if you go down below into the specific color category, there's transparent colors directly underneath. Another great feature is the ability to search for parts. Now it's not super sophisticated, but it does get the basics. So if you need to search for something, say a wheel cover, it should hopefully return what you're looking for. And you'll notice it showed up as an error on the right. That's because that color doesn't exist. So you gotta go up and fix it on the upper right.
Now, when you're working with bars, clips, and clippable objects, it's extremely important to not build them on top of the actual frame. As you can see, um, when you start to put more on, you can slide them around and it can actually mess up the alignment. So what I always do is build them off. So I'll move it to the back and then build it in the back here and clip it on later. And the last tool I'm gonna to go over is the hinge tool. Saving the best for last. So go ahead and highlight the section that you actually want to hinge or move. And then come on up to the top and click the hinge tool. And then you can use a little arrow to actually move it to the degree in which makes sense for your model. And that's it. Hope you guys liked the build. We'd appreciate it if you'd like, share, and consider subscribing if you don't already. You can also follow us on Instagram and TikTok as at AFOL.TV. And again, you can download instructions for our other builds and part files on our site, www.AFOLstore.com. And lastly, if you have any suggestions on what we should build next, leave them in the comments below. Thanks again, and see you next week.